the four beasts of Daniel 7. This video presentation will analyze and interpret the dream and visions of the prophet Daniel concerning the four beasts that he describes in the book of Daniel chapter 7. Daniel 7 verse 1 through 3 with interpretation. In the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head while on his bed. Then he wrote down the dream, telling the main facts. Daniel spoke, saying, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea of nations, and four great beasts, superpower empires, came up from the sea of nations, each different from the other. The first beast, Great Britain, the United States, and the European Union. Daniel 7, verse 4, with interpretation. The first was like a lion, Great Britain, and the European Union through NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and had eagle's wings, American support. I watched till its wings, America, were plucked off by the destruction of the United States, and it the European Union was lifted up, rose above the other nations during the Great Tribulation, from the earth. It recovered from its deadly wound to NATO, the destruction of America, and made to stand on two feet like a man. The European Union will rapidly mobilize after America's destruction, revive, stand on its own militarily without American support, and become a world superpower. And a man's heart, nationalistic pride, was given to it. The second beast, Russia. Daniel 7 verse 5, with interpretation. And suddenly, another beast, superpower nation, a second, like a bear, Russia. It was raised up on one side, Western Russia. 85% of Russia's population resides on the Western side of Russia, of which 77% reside in European Russia, and 15% reside on the Eastern side in Asian Russia and had three ribs, famines, pestilences, and earthquakes that accompany the Great Tribulation Wars in its mouth between its teeth. Russia will deliver the Great Tribulation to the world by destroying the United States. And they, angelic messengers, said thus to it, The bear, Arise, devour much flesh, Destroy America, Babylon the Great, in judgment. The third beast, Europe that revives after the United States is destroyed. Daniel 7 verse 6 with interpretation. After this, I looked, and there was another emerging world superpower, like a leopard, the re-emerging European Union, which had on its back four wings of a bird to rise above the other nations during the Great Tribulation and unify economically, industrially, militarily, and politically. The beast also had four heads, main GDP nations, France, Germany, Italy, Spain. 
and dominion of the European Union was given to it, the four main GDP nations. The fourth beast, European Union, final Roman Empire. Daniel 7, verse 7 through 8, with interpretation. After this, I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, the European Union, final Roman Empire, dreadful and terrible, exceedingly strong militarily. It had huge iron teeth. It was devouring, breaking in pieces, and trampling the residue with its feet. No nation of the world could stand against it. It was different, more globally dominant, from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns, ten monarch countries. I was considering the horns, and there was another horn, Vatican City, a little one, small country, coming up among them, the ten monarch countries, before whom... Three of the first horns were plucked out by the roots. Three national leaders are killed. And there, in this horn, Vatican City, were eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking pompous words. The false prophet, Catholic Pope. The Heavenly Court Judgment of Vatican City. Daniel 7, verse 9 through 12, with interpretation. I watched till heavenly thrones were put in place, and the Ancient of Days, God the Father, was seated. His garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire, a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. A thousand thousands ministered to him. The court was seated, and the books were opened. I watched then, because of the sound of the pompous words, which the little horn, false prophet, Catholic Pope, was speaking. I watched till the beast, false prophet, Catholic Pope, was slain, and its body, Vatican City, destroyed, and given to the burning flame. As for the rest of the beasts, remaining seven horns, rulers of the fourth beast, European Union, final Roman Empire, they had their dominion, national sovereignty, taken away by the anti-Messiah, Antichrist. Yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time until the return of Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ. The Return of Yeshua, Jesus. Daniel 7 Verse 13 through 14, with interpretation. I was watching in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, Yeshua, Jesus, coming with the clouds, angels and saints of heaven. He, Yeshua, Jesus, came to the Ancient of Days, God the Father, and they, the angels, brought him, Yeshua, Jesus, near before him, God the Father. Then to him, Yeshua, Jesus, was given dominion and glory and a kingdom, the Millennium Kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him, Yeshua, Jesus. His, Yeshua's, Jesus' dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom, the one 
which shall not be destroyed. Daniel's Vision Interpreted Daniel 7, verse 15 through 22, with interpretation. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit within my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near to one of those who stood by and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me and made known to me the interpretation of these things. Those great beasts, superpowers, which are four, are four kings, empires, which arise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall receive the kingdom of heaven and possess the kingdom of heaven forever, even forever and ever. Then I wish to know the truth about the fourth beast, the European Union Final Roman Empire, which was different from all the others, exceedingly dreadful, militarily, with its teeth of iron and its nails of bronze, which devoured, broke in pieces, and trampled the residue with its feet. No nation of the world could stand against it. And the ten horns, ten monarch countries in it, that were on its head, led the European Union, final Roman Empire. And the other horn, Vatican City, which came up, before which three fell, three national leaders are executed, namely, that horn, Vatican City, which had eyes and a mouth, the false prophet, Catholic Pope, which spoke pompous words, whose appearance was greater than his fellows. I was watching, and the same horn, the false prophet, Catholic Pope, was making war against the saints and prevailing against them. Until the Ancient of Days, God the Father, came, and a judgment was made in favor of the saints of the Most High. And the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom, Yeshua's Jesus' return to establish his millennium kingdom. Daniel 7, verse 23 through 28, with interpretation. Thus he said, The fourth beast, the European Union, final Roman Empire, shall be a fourth kingdom on earth, which shall be different, more globally dominant, from all other kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, trample it, and break it in pieces. The Ten Horns Monarch countries are ten kings, leaders, who shall arise from this kingdom. And another, Little Horn, false prophet, Catholic Pope, shall rise after them. He, the false prophet, Catholic Pope, shall be different from the first ones, and shall subdue, have executed, three kings, leaders. He, the false prophet, Catholic Pope, shall speak pompous words against the Most High, shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and shall intend to change times and law, God's festivals and commandments. Then the saints shall be given into his hand for a time and times, and half a time. The dark Middle Ages the times of the Gentiles during the Great Tribulation years, and the latter part of the seven-year reign of the Anti-Messiah, Antichrist. But the heavenly court shall be seated, and judgment against the Little Horn, Roman Catholic Church, Vatican City, declared, and they, the secular and Muslim people, of the fourth beast, 
the European Union, final Roman Empire, shall take away his, the false prophet, Catholic Pope's dominion, Vatican City, to consume it and destroy it forever. Then the kingdom and dominion of the fourth beast, the European Union, final Roman Empire, and the greatness of the kingdoms under the whole heaven shall be given to the people, the saints of the Most High. His kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. This is the end of the account. As for me, Daniel, my thoughts greatly troubled me, and my countenance changed, but I kept the matter in my heart. The Four Beasts of Daniel 7 Summation The Four Beasts of Daniel Chapter 7 are four end-time superpowers. The first, third, and fourth beasts represent different phases of the same beast. The first beast becomes the third beast, which later becomes the fourth beast. Only the second beast, the bear, is distinctly separate and different from the other three beasts. The first beast is Great Britain, the United States, and the European Union alliance through NATO. The second beast is Russia. The first beast becomes the third beast after the first beast's eagle's wings, the United States, are forcibly plucked from it, destroyed by the second beast, Russia. The third beast, the re-emerging European Union, led by four major GDP nations, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, will become the fourth beast, the European Union Final Roman Empire. Side note, many prophecy interpreters have mischaracterized the four beasts as being ancient Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, and Rome. This is an incorrect linking of the four beasts of Daniel's dream and visions in Daniel chapter 7 to King Nebuchadnezzar's dream of a great image in Daniel chapter 2. The four beasts are not a history lesson of past kingdom empires. The four beasts are four superpowers of the end times. The first beast, the lion with eagle's wings, represents the alliance of Great Britain, the United States, and the European Union through NATO. The lion is a symbol of England, and the bald eagle is America's national symbol. The eagle's wings, America, are plucked off the lion, Great Britain and the European Union, and the lion will stand on its own two feet. America will be destroyed by Russia, and then afterward, Great Britain and the European Union will stand on their own, without America's military support. Side note, some prophecy interpreters have incorrectly proclaimed that the wings plucked off the lion represent America becoming an independent nation in 1776. The wings being plucked off the lion do not represent a history lesson of America's independence in 1776. America's wings were not plucked in 1776. In 1776, America was born, flew away independently from England, and began to spread its wings as a great nation. Great Britain and America reunited as allies after the American War of Independence, fought two world wars together, and remained close allies. The second beast, the bear, Russia, forcibly plucks the eagle's wings, America, from the lion, Great Britain, and the European Union alliance through NATO.
by destroying the United States of America. Great Britain and the European Union will stand militarily on their own after the Eagle's Wings American military support is plucked, taken from them by the bear, Russia, who destroys the United States of America. In 2016, Great Britain voted to depart from the European Union in what is commonly referred to as Brexit. After the United States is destroyed, for its own national security interests, England may once again reunite with the European Union during the Great Tribulation. The second beast, the bear, represents Russia. The bear is the national symbol of the Russian Federation. Russia, joined by a large assembly of nations, plucks off the eagle's wings from the first beast by destroying the United States. A great sword, nuclear arsenal, is used by Russia to destroy America. After America is destroyed, nations will make war with other nations. As the destruction of the world's sole peacekeeping nation marks the beginning of the Great Tribulation. Russia is geographically located north of Israel and north of the United States, past Canada. It is raised up culturally, industrially, militarily, politically, and is populated on its western side, where its two largest cities are, Moscow and St. Petersburg, as well as the Kremlin and Red Square. The three ribs in the bear's mouth symbolize the famines, pestilences, and earthquakes that will accompany the Great Tribulation Wars. Russia delivers the three things, famines, pestilences, and earthquakes that accompany the Great Tribulation to the world by taking peace from the world by destroying the United States, the world's peacekeeper. Russia will use their large nuclear arsenal to destroy America, but after they do so, they will have depleted much of their nuclear weaponry. The Russian economy and military will not be able to compete with the third beast, an agile, rapidly mobilizing, powerful, swift-acting, technologically advanced European Union. Sometime shortly, after Russia destroys the United States, they and a confederation of Islamic nations will attack Israel. God will personally intervene to defend the nation of Israel and will destroy the invading troops of Gog, Russia and the confederation of Islamic nations. I've been informed by top-ranking military officials that Israel has been unable to launch even a single plane in defense. As I stand here, Fighter planes are exploding in midair. They're crashing and falling to the ground without any explanation. And while no one can seem to give me any reason for why this is happening, I can tell you this. This all-out, unprecedented attempt to destroy Israel appears to be failing. God will also destroy the coastlands, border cities of Magog, Russia, with fire. It is unspecified if God will personally rain fire down on the populated cities of Russia, or God will allow the European Union, or an American nuclear-armed submarine, or small fleet of American nuclear-armed submarines, perhaps with the assistance of the European Union, to launch a delayed retaliatory nuclear strike on Russia. Russia's cities will be burned by fire. And the bear, Russia, will not remain a global superpower. The third beast, the four-headed leopard with four wings, is the agile, rapidly re-emerging European Union standing independently on its own, militarily, 
after America is destroyed. The third beast was formerly the first beast, Britain, American, European Union Alliance through NATO, which received a deadly wound to its empire after one of its head nations, America, was destroyed. Its four heads symbolize the four major GDP nations, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, that will head, lead, rapidly mobilize, and revive the European Union. America's destruction will mark the beginning of the Great Tribulation. The four wings of the third beast indicate that the European Union will rise above the Great Tribulation Wars and unify economically, industrially, militarily, and politically to become the world's dominant superpower. Additionally, the leopard is a secondary national animal of Germany, and the four heads of the leopard represent the rise of the Fourth Reich of Germany. Germany has been manufacturing the leopard tank since 1965. The two pair of wings on the leopard represent two major nations of the European Union, France and Germany, the Franco-German Alliance. The Gallic rooster is the national animal of France and the golden eagle is the national animal of Germany. The fourth beast, the ten-horned beast with iron teeth and trampling feet, the European Union, final Roman Empire, is a mighty, devouring empire that no nation can stand against, which arises from the third beast. The ten horns on the head of the fourth beast represent ten monarch country rulers that are joined with the European Union, final Roman Empire. A little horn arises from the ten horns, who is the false prophet, final Catholic Pope. The false prophet, final Catholic Pope, has three of the ten rulers of the European Union, final Roman Empire, killed. The rulers and people of the European Union, final Roman Empire, will hate the harlot, Roman Catholic Church, and burn down Vatican City. Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, upon his return to earth, will destroy the anti-Messiahs, Antichrists, European Union, final Roman Empire army who comes against him. For he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you.